will place an oil filled small beaker inside a big beaker and as you pour oil in the gap between the two beakers the small beaker becomes invisible. Why does this happen? You need some cooking oil, water, two beakers small and big. Here is a big one and the small. These are Pyrex good quality borosil beakers. Now place a small beaker inside the big one and then fill the small beaker with ordinary tap water. The small beaker is still visible and then you fill the gap between the two beakers with water but you can still see the small beaker. Even when you fill the big beaker completely with water you can still see the small beaker. When light travels from air to glass at an angle some of the light gets reflected. The rest of the light keeps going but it bends or refracts as it moves from air to glass. You see a glass object because it both reflects and refracts light. Now place the small beaker inside the big one. Fill the small beaker with cooking oil. Well you can see both the cooking oil and the small beaker. Fill the small beaker completely with oil. You can still see the small beaker. Now fill the small the gap between the two beakers with oil and you will see that the lower part of the small beaker becomes difficult to see. Only a ghostly image of the small beaker remains. The refractive index of Pyrex glass and cooking oil is almost the same. So as light enters from glass to oil to glass, its speed does not change. No refraction or reflection takes place and the object becomes invisible. This is because the refractive index of cooking oil and borosil glass is almost the same. 